Today we have with us Kerala's leading businessman, philanthropist and author, Mr. Kochosip Chitlapilli for an exclusive interview with Kerala Travel Explorer. Please tell us about K Chitilapalli Foundation, the non-profit organization founded by you that is engaged in charitable and philanthropic activities. What are its main areas of yeah, actually, focus and activities? Yes, back I decided to start a trust, K Chitilapalli Foundation, to help uh, needy people. Uh, we are ma giving mainly uh, trust to uh, 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 mainly for poor people for their medical support. Now I used to say if both the fam both the members of the family are healthy, it is easy to earn their livelihood. You know because in Kerala you will get at least 600 rupees or 800 rupees per head. So if the, both of them are working, definitely you need not support them. At the same time, if any one of them are sick, then it's a question mark. So they, uh, if we are supporting number of people, especially in the below poverty line, uh, in the medical side, and we are supporting children again in the below poverty line for their education. Uh, then, then the, the next thing is housing. Housing is again a, is a question. Uh, especially the number of people still uh, in, in and around us, uh, they have no shelter. So they, we are supporting for housing schemes. So that is going on a regularly basis. You are the chairman of the straight dog-free movement and advocated government action to address the menace of Kerala. Have you noticed any discernible improvement since you began this movement? Uh, in fact, uh, years back, I noticed, uh, you know, we were getting number of applications to our K Chetlapalli Foundation requesting for help, medical help. And when we go through the details, it is noted that, okay, uh, uh, stray dog bitten cases, uh, stray dog hit uh, uh, two-wheeler accidents, accidents. So that uh, uh, disturbed me in the sense why it is like that? And so whenever you go abroad, you never see stray dogs anywhere openly in the public spaces. Uh, we are talking about uh, animal lovers, we are talking about animal loving, but wherever you go, whether it is US or UK or um, Europe, uh, nowhere you can see stray dogs in the open street. So that means uh, at the same time some celebrities like some film stars, they they propagate uh, animal love. Uh, I am also an animal lover. I used to have dogs in my house. Uh, I was born and brought up in a village. Uh, I am also an animal lover, but I don't, uh, I don't want stray dogs in the road and biting very ordinary people. Uh, somebody is not having a proper compound world. Uh, the stray dogs, they attack their, uh, their small children their poultry uh, farms, uh, the, their cattle. So uh, nobody is raising any, any uh, against this particular menace. So I started uh, propagating this message. But uh, sad to say that so far um, there is no much, uh, much uh, progress in this aspect. When I analyzed uh, central government uh, brought out a, a role uh, protecting these type of uh, creatures. Uh, I s believe it is quite absurd. In the sense, I, it is one way. It is helping the, uh, telling frankly, it is helping the the uh, mafia. Mafia. Uh, I, I have to confess that it is helping the the medical. Uh, pharmaceutical uh, companies. It is a, actually there is a mafia in it. Uh, that much I can tell you. If you have time, you please then go around that. India is a place where maximum quantity of rabi vaccines are sold. Why? Why it is like that? Because of stray dogs. So all the pharmaceutical companies are funding some agencies and they want you know, stray dogs be there in the public spaces. That is a very complex issue. 
we fought uh, tooth and nail in many forums even in the in the, in the judiciary also we filed a number of cases but we miserably fail in the sense uh, it is the duty of the government to uh, to uh, to create law so but the law is uh, against uh, in this aspect so that much i can say how is a typical day in your life today and how is it different in comparison to the early years when you were setting up your first business venture you know that is uh, early years that time i was only 27 years old so i have a uh, lot of energy so i used to spend lot of time um, for uh, no in the business i spend lot of time in the office the factories i used to reach uh, the in the office and factory by 9 o'clock but now uh, time has passed Mm, now we have as i said earlier i have a number of managers i have a number of uh, engineers or whatever may be uh, i have i can delegate to the maximum level uh, so i have enough time even to do some charity activities or social activities but uh, i have to be active so long as i am healthy that is my principle and uh, now Uh, this year i am completing 69 still healthy uh, i am i am productive that means i spend my time very fruitful please tell us about your family especially your wife and your two sons and how do they help you to run your business empire uh, yeah yeah all of my <coughs> family members are active in the business uh, my wife is active in another business we have a garment division star creation she is in charge of that i have no role in do it uh, because i have no idea about fashion and all i am not into that line so she is managing that show uh, we got this uh, managed by my second son mithun wonderla is managed by uh, arun my the elder son and then uh, their wives are also active in do respective businesses and so in my family all of them are engaged one way or other i have uh, two grandchildren uh, one each one for arun one for mithun so i am comfortable your wife is a successful entrepreneur as well what are the lessons that you have learned from each other uh that you have to ask her to know about that but uh, i used to say everybody everybody must be engaged then only uh, there will not be any gossip in the family because you know there is no time for gossip because all are active all are running around with their own uh, activities i am also running around with my own activities she is also running around with her own activities similarly sons are busy with their own businesses uh. could you share some key success mantras to young aspiring entrepreneurs who would like to set up a business in kerala uh you know we cannot uh, tell a single line you know for that actually for your information we started f a moment uh, a as vijay bhava is a training program for young entrepreneurs to improve their skills uh, started by kechitlapalli foundation it actually i forgot to mention uh, the activities of kechitlapalli foundation it is one uh, vijay bhava is a training program for entre- entrepreneurs young entrepreneurs uh, very low level entrepreneurs the whole idea how to take your company to the next level that is the idea so what we are uh, giving some tips mm, uh, no the government is saying okay you you start business uh, then uh, you can become a multi millionaire no there are so many things hidden in between if you want to be successful uh, there are some tips uh, from my experience not only from my experience i bring some of my friends who are successful in the business they, they also interacting with them i bring uh, some leading consultants to share their experiences some 
effective trainers to them to teach them some skills. So, then only uh, uh, we can uh, uh, take the company to the next level. For example, I changed a lot after starting my company. Later only I came to know that I have to improve myself. Uh, then only I can take my company to the next level. So, I, had, I attended similar, similar training programs those days, years back when I was young. So, I am trying to give a idea to youngsters uh, how to take your company to the next level. That is called Vijay Bhava. Mm. What are your future plans on the business side? Uh, no much future plans, you know. No, I have to retire and, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, uh, but I must be engaged. That is why uh, I started the, the, the four, our fourth division, the construction, uh, that legal and developers. Now we are into construction. Um, I am more involved into that. Uh, so, so, one by one, uh, the f I have to be engaged. Uh, for the time being, I am engaged. Uh, 